Welcome back to Living 808. It's one of the most iconic and memorable races in the world. Many refer to it as the Ultra Marathon. Well, now there's a film about it. It's the amazing story of the Hawaiian Ultra Running Team and the Hurt 100 race. Here to tell us all about it, Marion Yasuda, a Hurt volunteer, and Sue Lor, a Hurt runner and volunteer pacer. Hello, thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mary, let's start with you. What is the Hurt 100? The Hurt 100 is a, a very tough 100 mile race that takes place in January of every year in the um, Honolulu Malka Trail system, which includes Makiki, Manoa, Nuuanu, and Tantalus. It's, um, we'll have about 125 people total line on January 13th, hoping to make the 100 miles within the 36 hour cutoff. We have about 30 local runners, so from Hawaii, and the rest are from uh, mainland US, Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Okay, I'm trying to comprehend what this is like. I've done the Honolulu Marathon, and that was brutal for me. And now I'm thinking, you know, almost five times that much. That's crazy. <laughs> it is a different animal. Um, it takes a real different mindset. So it's obviously more about endurance than it is about speed for most people. Um, so of the 125 people that start, we'll have probably fewer than half will actually finish. So it is a lot of a mental um, uh, yeah. game. It's, um, it's not just physical. You have to really overcome a lot of obstacles and be able to endure for 36 hours. Wow. Um, Sue, tell us about the film that's coming out on January 9th. Uh, the film is about the, uh, it's, it focuses on the race, but it also focuses on the Hurt Ohana. Um, though we have, we all love winners, and we all love, you know, the accomplished runners that come to Hawaii to run the race. It's about, um, it's, it really focuses on the Hurt volunteers that, that crew, the, that, that take care of the runners during the race. Um, In the research that I've done, it just seems like this is a very special event, um, not only because of what you just mentioned, because we know that it takes a lot of mental, um, you know, this is like you said, a mental game, but because of all the volunteers. So wh why is that so special? And there's, there's a, a movie is being made about it. Those volunteers are amazing. They're, they're there at the aid stations, encouraging people. They fill your water bottles. They make sure you're your feet are good, your, all your needs are taken care of. Um, I know for me, as a local runner, I had the advantage of having the Hurt Crew or the Hurt Ohana with first step. They encouraged me to even sign up for the race. And then having special training partners to help me to train for the race. And then, of course, on race day, to take care of everything, I, you know, all my needs, making sure I was drinking enough, et cetera. So mm -hmm. it was just, am they're just amazing. And the runners will all tell you that too. There is a photo that I think we want to show you. Um, okay, we don't have that photo, but uh, you all have experienced the race. I mean, tell us what it's like for you. Well, um, I've experienced the race both as an athlete. I've um, finished it twice but I've been volunteering for the last seven years as an aid station captain. And um, it's just a super special event. Um, like Sue said, you know, the Ohana is very strong and we do take care of each other. And as a volunteer, it's a lot more emotional. I, I'm invested in every single runner's event yeah. and I want everybody to finish and so I'm always uh, trying my best to give them what they need and help them to get out that that last loop or the you know one more segment to get to the next aid station so it's it's definitely a family style event mm -hmm. and a group effort for everybody now most people will never be able to do this right to run a hundred miles that's pretty incredible but why would people still want to see this film actually you don't have to be an athlete or, or a runner to appreciate the trials and tribulations, the challenges, the obstacles, and overcoming all of those things. In a, in a 100 mile race, over the 36 hours, you have a lot of 
ups and downs, you have valleys and hills, literally. Mm -hmm. um, and the knowing that you can overcome these tremendous obstacles and start to feel better is a story that resonates with everybody. It happens in real life. We all in real life and how you face those challenges and your attitude about them and your actions will shape the outcome. So um, seeing somebody struggle or barely make it or, you know, just be in the depths of a, a low sure. and come up and rise above it and finish is just the, I mean, it's the best, and it relates to real life, and that's what the story of Hurt is about, really. Now, people can watch the film January 9th at Windward Mall. Yes. Um, do they, is there a website or where they can get more information? We still have tickets available for the 8.30 showing, okay. and they can purchase tickets at Hawaii, uh, I'm sorry, hurt100film.com. Okay. And we'll have that information on our website as well. Um, but the the race is, is right around the corner, January 13th? 13th and 14th. 13th and 14th. Yes. Okay, so we encourage you, uh, because the public is invited to come and cheer people on. Absolutely. Right? Yes, yeah. Okay, terrific. Thank you so much. And again, uh, the film, you can see it at Windward Mall, January 9th. Uh, tickets still available for the 830 show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure we have all that information on our website. Thank, as you. Well. Thank you. Coming up on Living 808, director Jordan Peele's psychological thriller Get Out is getting thumbs up from audiences. The film got 64 awards in 2017 and more are pouring in.